Hi guys, if you have been following this video series, you know that uh, I have been building this PC for deep learning and in this video we are going to conclude it. So I have already installed everything on the motherboard. I just need to put that in this computer case and and put all the connections together. So let's start with it. Uh, basically, we are going to use Eclipse P400 from Fantech. Uh, I was a little confused between this box and the NZXT, I think S340. But based on feedback and reviews, I went through a lot of videos. And um, so I decided uh, to go with this box, which is Eclipse P400. Now, I think there's one more version of this, which is Eclipse P400S or something like that, uh, which is 10, 20 bucks uh, more expensive. But uh, this suits my needs. So I went with this particular model. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with either of this one or NZXT uh, cases. They are also good. I went with this because, you know, uh, it looked good. It comes pre-installed with two fans and fit my budget. And look and feel uh, which I saw in the video was really nice. So let's open the box and take this out. Okay, so this is the top side. So you can see we have uh, you know, really nice space for the ventilation. Oh, use it for installing your liquid cooling radiator. So this is really nice. You can see uh, I'm not using liquid cooling. So that's not, uh, I mean, specifications doesn't matter for me. But if you are planning to use uh, liquid cooling, make sure that this fits the radiators. This is the cover which comes with it. And this space is really nice because like uh, I'm using um, Hyper 212 Evo CPU fan. So in that case, it will really help in the ventilation. And at the bottom also, there is this vent and this is space which will provide cooling to our power supply. So this is uh, also good. And this is the bottom area. One side, this is this side will be used for cable management. So it is, you know, so this is covered. I think this, I got this tent, I guess. It came due to packaging. So let's open this. Our front panels, I mean, it's really nice. It can easily come out. Um, there's a fan installed here. We have lights here. Overall, you can see it's really good. This NF open space and this is the side panel. And we have two USB ports here and one mic and uh, one headphone jack. And this is the back side. So we have a fan here. Uh, this is space next to fan is for IO ports. And then we have slots to install our GPU. So let's open this so that we can remove our uh, side panels. So this is the cable management. And as you can see, we have straps to hold our cables. Then we also have enough space to insert our cable. So cable routing and everything. So overall cable management provided by this case, which is still a budget case is really good. And then we have a space for our hard drive, which I'm not going to use. And this box uh, will have all the screws. So make sure to take this out. So let's install our power supply here. I'm going to use EVGA 650 watt. So make sure this, uh, Connecting port um, for our cable uh, should be pointing towards outside. Now, as far as the fan um, direction is concerned, whether it, it could be upward or downward uh, based on uh, your computer case. So in this case, uh, I have to put this box inverted. You can see we have access to the cable uh, ports there. And because if you don't do it correctly, uh, this will not align and you won't be able to put 
uh, the screws on. So check your computer case uh, before you install it. And now we will install our motherboards for which we will simply align. We will first put our IO shield here. And then we'll align the ports on uh, motherboards to this IO shield. So let's install it. And don't push uh, in the center. Just make sure that you put it there and push at the corners and the edges. I had tough time installing it. And this installation is really important because then um, you will have to align your uh, motherboard's board with these. So make sure that it fits well. So now we will uh, put our motherboard with our ports coming out of uh, these slots here. And these are really sharp so make sure you wear gloves or something. So now I have inserted my motherboard. Uh, basically we have uh, nine screws uh, which we need to put on this motherboard. So we have holes for this. You can see in the center and in the corners. So I have now placed all those screws and I will put uh, the GPU on the PCIe slot. So I will first remove uh, three screws from here. Uh, which will give me enough space to install my GPU. And I was having tough time with alignment of my motherboard port uh, with the IO shield. So I have removed my IO shield. And after that, it was really easy for me to. So if you are having tough time with alignment of uh, the motherboard and with the IO shields, If you are comfortable with it, you can remove the IO shield and try without that. It really worked for me. Because anyway, it's a desktop. I'm not going to move it every day. Okay, so I have installed my GPU on the first PCIe slot. And on the top, uh, I have connected it with the power supply. And this is the power supply. This is PCI connector. This is CPU connector. And then there are the, you know, smaller connectors here, uh, which you have to refer to your motherboard manual. We need to make sure all of these connections are in place. So this is the 24 pin connector. The big ones are really easier for smaller ones. You have to refer to your manual. There's no other way. And this is the CPU fan connector. So on the fan, which are there uh, on the computer case, I will be connecting one of those fans to this connector on the motherboard. And I think this is um, CPU fan two. So now I have connected everything. I'm yet to put uh, the front and the, all those covers. So just to check. So you can see uh, that I have started the computer. And let's hope everything goes well. And yes, you can see it has at least responded. So uh, I'm yet to install the OS, but to make sure that everything is are responding and recognized by the motherboard we need to first check our bios so you can see the temperature is 28 degrees celsius anything between 30 or 50 is fine uh, it's also um, recognizing our fans so it's responding to that then it is also identifying our ramps because sometimes if a ram is not properly inserted it won't recognize all the ramps so again it's a green signal for us and then on the top you will see it's uh, giving us information about the cpu uh, the memory um, it's i can't explain you how it's really wonderful to see this screen after putting you know hours uh, into this um, so your ssd and everything is recognized by this 
make sure that all of your devices are recognized uh, by your motherboards so now i will go ahead with the installation installation is simple i'll be using a usb flash drive so as i have mentioned in one of my earlier videos i'm editing this video on this build and the overall experience has been really good um this is really working very well uh, i mean i have a macbook pro the latest one uh, from the last year and my boot time uh, for this build is um, way better than my macbook pro um, thanks to m.2 ssd drive so uh, if you are planning to build a custom pc just make sure that um, you use something like i think pcpartpicker.com to make sure that all um, your components are um, compatible with each other and overall uh, if you take just be patient because um, your best friends are your user guide uh, watch these videos they will provide you help with the overall directions but overall you have to work on it so but yeah it's not a big deal it will take some effort uh, but as i mentioned earlier i mean this investment is really worth because now i can upgrade anything i mean like macbook pro or any other laptop i'm not stuck with it i can upgrade the rams motherboard anything so this is really good uh, i've been using this build for a week now and i'm really happy with it so if you have any question or comment uh, please leave it thanks for watching thank you